All right, welcome to SEO Hangouts with Josh Pachinski. I am the aforementioned Josh Pachinski. Thank you for tuning in. I apologize for the delay. I was having technical difficulties with my Mac machine, which decided to update in the middle of me trying to get this thing set up. So if you've never seen SEO Hangouts before, we are the finest science SEO show on the YouTubes. We're the finest SEO show uh, in general because of the science that we use. We're the finest science SEO show on the YouTubes because we listen to scientific critiques. Fancy that. <laughs> we actually listen to scientific critiques and we'll change our experiments based on what we find in, in peer review. Uh, the other science SEO shows online, sadly, are kind of missing that. So uh, this is the place to be for the uh, actual best information. You're seeing the proof of it on your screen right now. Uh, uh, these are actual examples of, of students of mine or my own, clinics, uh, my own clients that are ranking very, very well uh, based on our... Uh, based on our scientific results. Uh, we have the best scientific results that there is, bar none. That's just the way that it is. Anybody who uh, uh, says otherwise, I'd like to see your uh, uh, bit.ly slash SEO proof. You can see all these examples at bit.ly slash SEO proof. That's bit.ly slash SEO, P-R-O-O-F, SEO proof. I'd love to see your examples of how well you're doing and have over 200 of them in there showing that your experience, uh, that your uh, scientific experiments produce these kinds of results. Uh, so today I'm gonna to be going through something very special with you guys. I'm gonna be going through the entire kind of scientific, uh, the entire kind of SEO process we have that's based on our scientific process. I'm gonna be showing you the entire kind of process that we use to rank sites to get these kind of results that you're seeing here. That's just an email with, uh, with me between John Mueller. I can also email John Mueller from Google not such a big deal. Actually, I find the scientific experiments to be much, much more interesting than the fact, because uh, Google, of course, doesn't tell you anything, whether you're friends with them or not, or emailing them or not. Um, and so, uh, not anything substantive anyway. So um, I'm gonna go show you the whole kind of uh, 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 process today that we go through. And uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm gonna show you kind of what we do, how we do it. And I'm gonna allude to some of the experiments that we do. So I'm gonna get that going right away. So I will just turn on the display capture here and minimize OBS. While I'm at it, I'm just going to make sure that uh, we guys have people in the chat. Guys, if you can hear me, please say something in the chat that you can hear me. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm broadcasting uh, properly here uh, because I had a problem before broadcasting and it wasn't working. So I see that 16 are watching now. If you guys can hear me, please type something in the chat. Um, maybe you guys are on this page here. Let's try that. Okay, I see myself. No, I was the wrong one. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys could see or hear me here, guys. Uh, if you can, please uh, let me know. Uh, somebody says they can hear me. Travis says you can't, <laughs> so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, if you guys can hear me, that's fine. If you guys have any SEO questions, please feel free to ask them. You can ask me anything. Ask me anything at all, as long as you're not rude and it's a it's a genuine question. I will I will entertain to answer. But if you want to make sure I could see it, please put a, a couple stars in front of it just to make sure that I could see it. Uh, do you guys uh, see the video as well? I imagine because I am getting an error here. Let me, if I reload this page, what happens? I'm getting an error here on my uh, YouTube playback. Oh, okay, now I'm starting to get stuff. And can you guys hear me? You can hear me. Okay. <laughs> All right, fine. Good. Now we're getting better here. Now things are starting to make sense. Okay, so like I said, ask any SEO questions you got with asterisks. I, I apologize for starting late. Uh, Travis says, you said to say something, so I said say something. Very funny, Travis. Very funny <laughs> when I'm trying to diagnose technical issues. Uh, that's what happened. So there's only there's only 18 of you guys watching right now because I started late probably. So it's going to be a little more intimate. Uh, usually there's 50 or 60 people here. So it's going to be a little bit more intimate. So go ahead and ask any SEO questions you want. Uh, put some asterisks in front of it just to make sure that I can see it if you want me to see it. And like I said, ask me anything. I will entertain. As long as you're not rude and as long as you're not just being a troll, I will gladly entertain any question that you might have. But what I want to do today right now is I want to go over the process. So this is something I've already shared with my mentorship students, but I've not shared uh, with the general public. 
So I wanna go over this and I wanna show you kind of what we do, how we do it. Uh, and I wanna make sure that you see uh, kind of what we're doing here. So the general process to rank is one that you can keep going through. You can go through it kind of every time. Uh, uh, you can go through it every time. There's some general rules that I got to mention first. And so here, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love. I'm going to be a little blunt in what I'm about to say, but I'm, I'm, I'm only providing this in the hopes that it really uh, helps people. I'm, I'm only providing this in the hopes that it really helps people in their lives. Because there's a lot of charlatans out there and there's a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, bad SEOs out there and bad web people in general saying that you can just get a Wix website, that you can get a uh, 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 any kind of website uh, and that that'll be perfectly fine to rank. And that's just not true. Um, you can't just get any kind of, of uh, site to rank. Um, it, it's, I, I, it's like this. It's like it's setting up a business. You're making a business. And I'm afraid that it's got to be perfect. You can't just half-ass it in SEO these days. You're competing with people on page one who are spending tens of thousands. In some cases, they're spending millions of dollars per month for their SEO. Like Amazon is spending millions of dollars per month for their SEO, why do you think it's going to be easy for you to compete with those guys? It's, it's not going to be easy to compete with those guys. And so it's got to be perfect, guys. I'm sorry. And, and here's the other problem is that I'm, I'm sorry, but you need the technical knowledge. You need to know HTML. You need to understand how WordPress works. You need to understand how PHP works. You need to understand how MySQL works. You need to understand how Ajax works. You need to have a general, you don't have to be a programmer. But you need to have a general sense of, of how these things work. This is science. I'll just put this over here just for people. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this is science. There we go. You need to have a general idea of how these technologies work. Otherwise, you, you are foolish to think you're going to be able to compete in that market. It's like, it's like trying to get into an MMA fight, but you don't know how to grapple and you've never tried this punching thing. It's not going to work. You can't outsource that to your coaches, right? That's not going to work. Or it's like uh, it's like a brick and mortar store. Imagine trying to run a brick and mortar store, but you don't know how to fix the boiler and you don't even know who to call to fix it or, or have the wherewithal to find out. You don't know how to fix the shattered windows. You don't know how to how to set up stock on on your on your shelves. You don't know how to price things. You don't want to you don't know what a point of sale system is. You don't even want to find out. These are all things you need to know and more leasing taxes, uh, uh, um, uh, bylaws. These are all things you need to know to run a brick and mortar store. Why did you think the web store was going to be any different? Right? I'm sorry. You need the technical knowledge. You need to take a course in HTML. You need to take a course in all these different things. And at the very least you need to learn the basics of it and how they all work. So that when I say you need to go edit this tag because our scientific testing showed that it, it boosted three or four spots. You're like, what's that tag? That's not the question you should be asking. It, you shouldn't have any question. You should be like, okay, Josh, got it. I know that tag, I understand. Or even if I've never seen that tag before, I understand HTML, I understand how to edit it. Boom, I can go do it, right? If, if that's not the state you're in, then you're never going to succeed. And that's just the way it is. And if you're not a technical person and you don't know how to web design or you're not even willing to learn or find out or you don't have the money to find out or you're not willing to go on Upwork to hire designers to find out and you don't have the cash flow to support that, then this is never, ever going to work. And guys, someone lied to you to make you think it would. Here's another hard truth that I really have to remind people of that SEO is super, super hard. It's not easy. Anyone who told you it's easy is lying. It used to be a little easy. Now it's not. Now I'm going to go on record to say SEO is super hard. It's like doing a four year bachelor of science degree, at least, at least, if not closer to a master's degree. So if you don't think you could do a four year BSc, if you don't think you could understand that math, if you don't think you could do a four year marketing degree or a marketing master's, 
and understand psychology and people and statistics and things like that, then I'm sorry, SEO is just not for you. It's just not for you. Take an honest look at yourself in the mirror and realize that you're wasting your money and time. And I would rather, instead of, of, instead of taking your money like a snake oil salesman and being like, oh yeah, sure, SEO is easy. You can do it. Just join my class. Instead of saying that to you, I'm going to tell you the truth because I'm always the guy who's going to tell you the truth, even if it hurts people's feelings. This I've proven. <laughs> I'm always going to be the guy to tell the truth, whether or not it's going to hurt the feelings. And, and you know, I could, I could cash my words a little softer. Maybe, maybe I should. But at the end of the day, I don't want you wasting your money and your time in an SEO course, mine included, if it's just not for you. So if you don't think, if you don't honestly think you could take a four-year BSc with that math and science, or you don't think you could take a four-year marketing degree, honors degree, and get Bs and As in the courses, then SEO is just not for you. Give up, get a job from somebody else. Just go get a job and, and, and live your life. And stop worrying about this SEO bullshit that is, is quite frankly going to be over your head. And the other thing I want to say, and, and, and that might sound really harsh to say, but guys, I know I'm saving some people a lot of money and a lot of heartache right now. And that's what I'm here to do. Because that's ethical. That's the good thing to do. I, I'm, I'm not just one of these snake oil salesmen like Chase or whomever else who's just going to be like, oh yeah, it's easy and, and pay me money. It's not easy. They're lying. They're lying. I don't care how cool they seem to you. They're lying. The last thing I'm going to say is that SEO is super hard. And it takes a long time, right? Now, these are rough, 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 rough estimates that could be wildly off by 100% in some cases. But in general, if you want to think how long, how long, Josh, will it take me to rank my site? If you want to know how long it's going to take for you to rank your site, this is the basic, the basic kind of thing you can, or recover your site. This is the basic kind of guideline you can use. And again, as it's really rough. It could be off by completely, but in some cases, but, but generally this is the case. It's basically one month per page to rank. If you know what you're doing and you apply it right away, it's basically one month per page to rank. If you know what you're doing and you apply it right away. All right. If you know all this stuff now, if you're looking at this and thinking you know what all this is and you're not in my course, you don't. Here's the thing, is that the science on SEO is changing weekly. And so anyone who has left my, my, my mentorship program thinking that I give away too much for free, this is actually what somebody told me, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I give away a lot for free because I care and I'm trying to help people, but I don't give it away all for free and this list is not going to be enough on its own. You're going to have to do some science on your own or you're going to have to join my group to, to learn the actual right way of doing it based on the science that is changing every week and every month. But if you don't, my point is, if you don't, the segue was, if you don't understand all of this, then this is going to increase for sure. If you don't understand all of this completely, this is going to increase for sure. And if you don't have the technical knowledge, this is going to increase for sure. Because you're going to have to hire a designer and you have to go back and forth on Upwork and then it's going to take a month for them to get something back to you. And you're going to say, no, this is shit. Do it again. And they're going to have to do it again. Blah, 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 blah. You guys know how it goes. It's going to be like three to four months per page to rank. If that, if you ever make it at all. So guys, I know this is some tough love. I know that it might sound tough for you, some, some of you guys to hear. But if you don't have the tech knowledge, if you are not willing to get it absolutely perfect, and if you don't know this at a scientific level, because you're in my group, then this could be three to four months, if ever, if ever. And that's per page. So let's say you had it all perfect and you're ready to go. You did your four year BSc, you understand all this web crap. You're in my group, you've listened to, and you didn't get lazy and you actually listened to all the courses and you paid attention and you understand it all. Good for you, fantastic, perfect. You're, you're, you're rocking it. Then it's going to take you still at least a month per page. You have a 10 page site. Don't expect to be ranking that sucker for, for about a year. You have a hundred page site you need to recover. Okay. Now, now we're talking years to get it all back. Okay. And if you don't have the perfect technology or not willing to do it perfect or don't understand this perfectly, then that increases to three or four. Then this goes to three dash four months per page. 
it's still going to be two to three years before you make that site rank. And that, you know, it's surprising to me when, when I think about it, how long I've been doing this and, and, and coaching people, how accurate my, my guesstimate is here, actually. If you stick with it in three years, maybe you'll have a 10 page ranking, maybe for six months until the next update came out and the bad advice you listen to on black hat world or, or some other group cough, cough, <clears throat> nabs you because they didn't actually scientifically test it or because you believed in some pseudoscience that some people are believing in like a religion. So one month per page. So keep this please before I go over the process and dazzle your eyes with how you can rank. Please keep this in mind, guys. You got to be perfect. You need the technical knowledge. Go take an HTML course at night. Go take a, or one online, or go take a JavaScript course. Like intro to JavaScript, intro to CSS, uh, intro to WordPress. You got to understand uh, how this works. And the more you're relying on other people and other technology, the, the longer this is going to be. You, you have an e-commerce package from someone else, two months per page at least. Oh, you don't understand WordPress. You got to get someone else to do that. Three months per page at least. And this is surprisingly accurate for people I know who've stuck with it. And this assumes that they're doing all the right stuff. They're listening to me and doing all the right stuff. Okay. So now let's go through the process, the actual process. <laughs> the first one is the audit. You guys have heard me rant about my audit many, many times. Actually, before I go on to this process, let's see, does anyone have any questions about the first stuff that I talked about here? Uh, let's see here. If you guys have any questions about the first stuff I talked about, um, Alexander has a question about speed time to first bite. Does it matter? Yes, it does very much. I'll talk about that in a second. NR says when you do a competitive analysis with your client's website and their competitors, I never do that. I never do that. Well, it's not true because I, I see what you're talking about here. So when you do competitive analysis with a compliance website, and their competitors and their competitor has 500 more word count on a piece of content. Do you change each client for the additional word count? Is that price incorporated into your monthly SEO or just an additional cost? Uh, in our, that's a bigger question. You need to be stepping back and asking what tools can I use to find this out? Uh, Phineas says the Wix TV commercial says it's just a simple button click. <laughs> yes, it does. I hate it. You could ask my wife. <laughs> I scream at the TV every time I see the stupid Wix commercial come on. I think I've literally thrown a, a, a crunched up napkin, <laughs> like, like a McDonald's napkin that I, I had up beside my chair. I, think I literally threw it at the TV and my wife's like, don't throw stuff at the TV. Uh, rightfully so. So, um, uh, yeah. So to answer in our, I'm doing competitive analysis with a very, very excellent tool called Quora. Quora is the single best SEO tool that exists. It allows you to do competitive analysis with 100 websites in the space of five minutes, checking over 500 factors. It's a very, very well-written piece of software, uh, and uh, I definitely recommend it. My group has a 30% discount on the software. Um, that, that's a limited time offer. I don't know how much longer that'll last. So I definitely recommend that you get on the software Email me at joshbrzezki at gmail.com uh, more information about Cora and getting in the mentorship group and you can get the best discount. And we also, we can run the occasional report for you. You can also buy reports on Fiverr for five bucks. Uh, so I do recommend you run Cora to do that competitive analysis and it'll tell you exactly kind of what it is you need to do here. Then you kind of need to listen to uh, other people. You need to decide if word count is something that you want to follow. And we have the science based on that. We have a lot of science based on that. And you'd be very surprised at the results. So definitely you need to get in my mentorship group and find out what's going on there. How you would price them and how you would charge them. Here's my best piece of advice for that question, uh, for, for any question. If you're asking me, Josh, I need to do X, Y, Z for a client. How should I bill them? The answer is in the way that they're most likely to accept. That is always the answer in the way they're most likely to accept. If they like being billed by the hour, build them by the hour. If you need to justify it as a, as a single cost, justify as a single cost. If you need to keep them around because they haven't been very happy and, or they're very valuable to you, do it for free. Right? I do lots of things for clients for free. Sometimes when it's like, I like these people, I want to keep these people around. These are good people. They don't stress me out. They don't bug me. I want to work with them on the flip side. However, <laughs> when I get clients who are a pain in the ass, I'm like, bye. See ya. I fire them right away. Boom. You're fired. 
go find someone else to do your SEO. I've fired many clients <laughs> and, and it can be, it can be rather satisfying <laughs> to do so. So do not work with anyone who's going to stress you out, man. It's not worth it. Trust me. Take it from me. I've been doing this for a long time. Do not work with anyone who's going to stress you out. It's not worth it. Okay. Krishna says, if on page is optimized accordingly with Cora and pop and doctor, you are matched with competitors. Still, the rankings don't move and the page is crawled when the optimization will impact and how the estimate time. That's a great question, Krishna. I love that question. So what they're asking is that if you've already used Cora and pop, and I would also mix in with that our single variable experiments that prove certain unbelievably powerful ranking factors and certain HTML tags and whatnot, and other things like that, you wouldn't believe. You would not believe what Google is doing. Some of the bullcrap they're doing, especially around EAT, uh, ex ex expertise, authority, and trust. That's all I'm going to say. I'm just saying you would not believe the bullcrap they're doing. And um, we found it in our experiments. Uh, we're, we're light years ahead of most other groups in that regard, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Other groups they don't like my opinion. Well, that's too bad for them. Uh, show me your bit.ly slash SEO proof is all I'll respond. Uh, go take a look at it so you know what I'm talking about. Bit.ly slash SEO proof and see all those examples. And it says, if your on-page is optimized quickly, yeah, so if you, if you on-page is only one piece, I'm going to talk about this in the process, but on-page is only one piece of the entire process you need to follow. Now, here's the thing I'm willing to, to, uh, to release to you. Here's a secret I'm willing to release. Once you use Cora and Pop and, and the, our single variable experiments to do proper on-page and you fetch that page, if you've done it correctly and, and you, were, you were out of balance with everybody else, you will see a boost within 24 hours. Guaranteed, you'll see a boost in 24 hours. You will see a boost in 24 hours for on-page exact match query keywords. You'll see a boost in three to four hours for sentiment keywords. And you'll see a boost in, uh, yeah, that's pretty much for that. So, and you'll see a boost right away for LSI keywords as well. So, so even if, so, so you, you might not see a boost because you either didn't do it right in your analysis or you're in, or in your, or, or in your um, application of the tools, right? You didn't analyze it correctly. You thought you were, you were out when actually you were in flux for on page or uh, you were out for on page and you use the tools correctly to measure it, but you didn't edit the pages correctly and you didn't have the proper single variable experiments proving to you what you should do where and what you should be adding on page. And it doesn't, it not, it, it's not just about HTML guys. There's more to it than that. And we have scientifically proven it. Uh, but that'll go up within 24 hours. Usually what happens when we do it is we, we make an on page change. We go up within 24 hours, uh, uh, a, a huge amount. And then what'll happen sometimes is you'll see a drop and that's for other reasons. That reason is because your quality is not good enough. And there's a couple things based in that in terms of relevancy. And I'm using these vagisms on the show, but when you join my mentorship group, I will, I will disambiguate those vagisms. I will explain what those vagisms mean, quality and relevancy. And I don't mean it the way the rest of the industry means it. I mean something very scientific and very specific that you can edit, you can fix, and you can change. Uh, Ovase says, hi, your videos have motivated me to check my site again and do SEO myself instead of giving it over to guest SEOs. Good, good. Guest SEOs are terrible. They're guessing. We are, uh, we are uh, not guest SEOs. Jordan Pierce, who's in the chat here, is the one who came up with that, uh, that term. Uh, credit goes to him. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, oh da, 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 da. Calvin Lee says, have you run tests on my Google map citations? Um, uh, yes, the group in general has done testing in Google map citations. And we have a guy in the group who can provide very good citations as well. And actually it's free for group members. So that's another reason to join. Uh, Roger says, if you get punished by Google for changing meta title for many times to, or similar, how long would it take for the punishment is lifted? Um, as Jordan suggests down below correctly, um, um, I, I'm, I'm not aware by any uh, penalty for changing meta title uh, multiple times. I've never tested changing it multiple times. I would not stuff your meta title tag full of keywords. I have scientifically tested that. 
and I will, I will release that to the public. I have scientifically tested stuffing the meta keyword with multiple keywords and it does demote. It's like negative SEOing yourself. So, so is, so, is, so that people do not go hurt themselves. I will mention that to the public. Uh, NR says, by firing your clients, do you become concerned that they will purposely sabotage your reviews on Facebook and Google? No, I'm not concerned by that. Uh, it just has to do with the way you handle them. Um, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not doing a lot of local SEO or, or, or uh, in my city. Uh, so, so that's not really a, 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 you know, really a problem. Uh, basically, it has to do with how you handle them, uh, basically. Um, okay. Uh, Roger Webb says, does keyword inside, uh, anchor href URLs affect ranking? Um, uh, maybe you have to join the group to find out Roger, but that's a good question. I like the way you're thinking. NR says, isn't quorum pop just like SEO profiler? <laughs> no, uh, SEO profiler, if I'm not mistaken, is Chase's crappy little piece of software. Let me just check here to make sure that's the case. Uh, yeah, this is Chase's, isn't it? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Well, it says they're in Germany. I don't know. I can't remember what, uh, what his particular, uh, thing was called, but no SEO profiler is nothing. SEO profiler is a piece of garbage compared to quorum pop. Quorum pop are light years ahead of SEO profiler. So, um, uh, Ovase asks, are you offering any special discount to startups to enroll in your mentorship program? Sure. I can offer a special discount to startups to enroll in the mentorship program. Uh, just email me. Uh, NR says Chase doesn't own SEO profiler, but a lot of SEO agencies use it. Good. I hope they continue using it because then I'll beat them easily because SEO profiler is a piece of garbage compared to Cora and pop. It just is. There's just no comparison compared to what Cora goes over 500 or 600 factors and uses actual, uh, a statistical science to, to base its suggestions. Um, SEO profiler is not even close. It's snake oil. Um, uh, Kelvin says, thanks for your response. Where can I join your free groups? I don't have any free groups, Kelvin. You're in it. This is the free group. <laughs> this is the information I give up for free. Uh, uh, my paid group uh, is $300 a month. You can find it at secretseo.guru. At secretseo.guru, that's where we uh, do the scientific experiments. Uh, it's too good to give out for free. If you think everything should be free, well, then uh, you're not going to get very far in SEO. But I am offering, because Ovase asked, I am offering a special discount to startups to enroll. Email me at joshpashinsky at gmail.com for the special discount. I repeat, you heard it here only, folks. I'm offering a special discount for new startups and new students to enroll in my mentorship program. Just email me at joshpachinsky at gmail.com. Vin Ray asks, how much money did you make last month on SEO clients? I, uh, I'm down a little bit. I only made 22 grand last month, sadly. That's, I just did the books and that's how much I made on SEO clients last month. So sadly, um, I'm usually around 30 grand a month. So I am a little bit down. Uh, but like I said, I enjoy firing clients maybe too much. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the reason. I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe other, uh, other groups are in here. David Bain asks, which TFIDF tools would you recommend? If any Cora, Cora is the tool I would use for any of that kind of analysis that you need to do. Uh, Cora by far is the best SEO measurement tool. Pop is good too. I was recently critiqued for, for saying that only professionals would use Cora. Well, sorry, only professionals would use Cora. Cora is the professional tool. Pop is kind of, you know, by comparison, Pop is, is nothing compared to, to Cora, in my opinion. That's my opinion. Sorry if you don't like it. But if you can't afford Cora, by all means use Pop. Pop is way, Pop is still head and shoulders above SEO profiler. Cora is, I don't know, Cora is Michael Jackson. Pop is, 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 Drake? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know. That didn't even make any sense. I don't know. Cora is, I don't know. What would it be? Cora is Muhammad Ali. Pop is, uh, 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 the guy who just fought McGregor and SEO profiler is, is me fat and ugly trying to fight people in the street after a bar. 
night at the bar. Like that, that's, that's what it is. There's not even a comparison between those, those three things. Okay, so let me get back to the process here, guys. All right, so, so here's the process. It starts with the audit. Guys, everything has to start with the audit. I know I sound like a broken record. I know I've said audit, audit, audit to you and my students a million times, but I cannot help that it remains relevant. <laughs> I cannot help that the audit is the first thing you're supposed to do. When you go to a medical doctor, what's the first thing they do? They run a bunch of tests and diagnose all the issues. So it's the same for SEO. SEO and medicine are very similar in a lot of regards. And it's the exact same for SEO. You need to do a full audit. And it has to be a full audit. Now, I did a course, a free course already on how to do an audit. Just check my channel. People are still watching it, still enjoying it. It's not up to date. It's a little, it's a little old now. There's some things I would change. There's some things, some very important things I would do differently. But if you want to DIY and you don't want to pay for my mentorship group, even though you should check out what this discount's going to be I'm going to be giving, you should email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com for this discount. But, and, and I'll, I have three or four different new audit courses with all the new audit stuff you need to do. I have an audit template in my SEO quickies folder for my students. I have done various audits for them. Over the shoulder audits. I have tons of over the shoulder audits. Every week I'll be giving them another over the shoulder audit including uh, SEO theory based on science, on the scientific tests we've done. Why do I keep saying scientific tests? I want to make sure you guys understand why that's so important. Because I don't know if you've realized, but everybody else out there in the SEO industry uh, who is not part of the science community, everybody out there in the SEO industry is selling bullshit. They are selling complete and utter bullshit. They don't have any scientific backing. When they say, I recommend you buy five links, they have no idea that you should do that. They have no scientific basis for making that claim. They have no scientific evidence backing up their opinion. It's just their opinion that they picked out of their butt. They might as well have just consulted. They might have called Psychic Jojo on the phone and asked how many links should I buy. Her answer would have been just as effing good. So when I say scientific, when I say I have a scientific basis for saying these things. That means something super, super important, guys, that I don't know you're realizing. So I want to make sure that's out there. So I have a scientific basis. I have a, the, the, the science is all behind my audit, in my audit, all through my audit, all over my audit. And I have a scientific basis for recommending you do an audit first because bit.ly slash SEO proof, go there and see the results. The next thing you need to do, and again, I've, I've also... Uh, I've also ranted on this one quite a bit as well. You need to do the keyword research. You need to go into Google AdWords keyword tool. I still like using that the most. You can put in 10 keywords now and you put in your 10 keywords and you get back uh, a full list of the keywords you want based on the, the data from Google and look at the keyword research you want to do and you need to plan your pages. I've done other uh, uh, courses on this for my mentorship students, showing them very, very powerful and easy ways to use Google AdWords Keyword Planner to get a list of keywords. Then you separate out and you plan all your pages based off it. It's nice and clean, nice and easy. You plan all your pages based off it. You hand that off to your writer and say, go. And they go. And they just write it up and do it. And you hand that off to the, to the designer and they do it and they make the pages and boom. You're like 10 steps ahead of the game already because you did the proper keyword research to begin with. Do not underestimate the value of keyword research. And if you haven't done keyword research within the last year, I highly recommend you do it again because everyone's talking to their phones. Everyone's doing different kinds of search trends. Uh, when uh, scientifically we went in and we look at, we looked at this over, over the, over the years, you need to look at the keywords and how they change over the years. You can use Google trends for that as well to some minor extent. And you need to see what new keywords people are using. So you need to do your keyword research. After that, you're going to be wanting to do all your technical stuff. There's a whole host of technical things you need to do here. I can't list them all for you. And I'm not going to for free. If you're a mentorship student, I can list them all for you. I can get into this, the details here of what you need to do. But let me just say this is important. Some of these details are so important in the technical category that it could stop you from ranking entirely. Entirely. 100% affect your rankings. What is the biggest ranking factor? Technical. 100% technical. Because if you don't have your technical set up, then Google can't rank you in some cases. And it's not always obvious either. It is not always obvious either. So you need to know what to look at in the audit and you need to do the proper technical checks. So here's another thing that I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Speed is a ranking factor, folks. 
Google has literally said last year in July that speed is a ranking factor and they continue to say speed is a ranking factor. And I'm here to say folks that we've scientifically confirmed it. I will give you that freebie as well. Speed is a ranking factor and there is no such thing as good enough. It could never be fast enough. There are two areas I'm willing to say where you could never waste your money. Conversion rate optimization and speed. These are the two areas I don't even need to look at your site. And I could say you need to do better in this. Conversion rate optimization and speed. There is no good enough in speed. Now these are the metrics I use just as a rule of thumb. But this is just a general rule of thumb, guys. Just a general rule of thumb. You want to have at least a half a second time to first bite, first second paint, 1.5 DOM usable, maybe faster if, you're, if your competitors are faster. You guys, your competitors could be faster than this. I know it's nuts, but some people are getting really fast speeds these days. So you need to look at your speed. You need to improve it. I can tell you exactly how to do it. I can tell you exactly what you need to do. You need to join the mentorship group. The next is on-site, including internal links. Guys, we have just... Uh, we've just got a, a landmark scientific experiment we just did in the last couple of days that anyone who's quit like a week ago will have no knowledge of. That is a night and day difference into what we've been recommending and what the SEO industry recommends. A night and day difference. There's some people out there on the, on the forums that I read. I read other SEO forums. I see what's going on. And some people out there are saying for, for Medic and for Eat, you need to do some things regarding internal links and they are completely 100% wrong according to the science. I have scientific proof to prove them wrong in multiple single variable experiments and multiple in the field experiments too. There are massive ranking factors here in internal links that you should be salivating over that it takes five seconds, literally five seconds to do on your website and it will improve your rankings tremendously in some tests better than exact match domains. That's right, in some tests, it's better than exact match domains to do it correctly. So you got to join my mentorship group. I'm sorry, I can't share these, these results. You have to join my mentorship group. Guys, moving forward, you have to join some science group because that's the only way you're going to gain any knowledge in, in SEO moving forward. The, art, the AI is making the choices, guys. Ask anyone in SEO who knows what they're talking about. The AI is now making the choices. The only logical choice then is to get in a science group that's doing continuous testing so you know what the new ranking factors are because they, they're counterintuitive. They don't make human sense because an artificial intelligence is choosing them. All right, so for on-page, yeah, you need to do not only core and pop and single variable analysis like I've talked about, but you also need to do a couple other things. Um, one of them is CRO. Have you heard about CRO? It's CRO. That stands for conversion rate optimization. How exactly you do that, I show you in the course and I continue to show students in the course because it's such a complex, finicky thing that, that you really need to go over it a bunch of times. But I've got like four or five different courses on it now in, in, the, in my mentorship group. You need to do conversion rate optimization. You need to, to uh, uh, improve those clicks. If you don't know what that is, you need to join my mentorship group to find out. And again, here, CRO and speed is the only thing, as I said, I don't even have to look at your site. And I could say, I bet you you're failing because of this, but more probably because of this. And this and this can never, ever be good enough, ever. And last but not least is acquiring these things called links. There's other stuff you can do there. Uh, you can also do social as well, of course. Uh, links uh, mean something very specific for our group. It's not what you think. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do there. And it's not even what I had written here previously and I wrote over it. It's more than that. But remember, when you're getting links, just remember, the only thing I'll say is you have to remember plausible deniability. When you're explaining to Google, plausible, when the Google's looking at you, plausible deniability is all I'm going to say. If you don't know what that means, Google the definition of the phrase. <laughs> all right, let's see if there's any other questions I can answer right now. Let's see if anybody else has any other questions. Uh... uh Baxter says, if you're so good at SEO, uh, let, me, let, me, let me change the voice. If you're so good at SEO, why haven't you started an affiliate website? Uh, because I don't want to. 
<laughs> Why is that the measure of everyone who's great at SEO? I love that. If you're so good at SEO, why haven't you started an affiliate website? Because I haven't. I've done affiliate stuff before for my conference. I just don't want to. Do I need to? Uh, people come here and I sell it on my own. No one else can sell my stuff better than me because quite frankly, not a lot of people understand it. So if you want to be an affiliate, you can. I'll, I'll make you an affiliate if you want. I'll give you a code, but, <laughs> but basically, um, I don't see why that's the measure of a great SEO. I think you've been listening to Becker a little bit too much <laughs> and those kinds of guys. Uh, those guys have no fucking clue what they're talking about. They don't have the first foggiest fucking clue what they're talking about. They are the worst snake oil salesmen that exist. The worst. So if that's the model that you want me to go off of, that's definitely what you want to do. Craig Bond says, do you have a link to your group? Yeah, it's secretseo.guru, secretseo.guru. Go ahead, go there, sign up. Go ahead, check it out. Kay says, who does your CRO? Me. I do my CRO. Um, <laughs> Deidre says, share one internal link metric, just one. Uh, I, I, it's already in the name, internal links. <laughs> that's, that's the, I'm, I've given too much away already, but no, there's a very specific way you need to do it. Uh, and, uh, it's not what everyone else out there on the industry is saying. Uh, Alexander says AI scary shit. Yes, it is. It is the Terminator. Okay. If you guys have any more SEO questions, please ask them with uh, a bunch of asterisks so I can see it or a bunch of question marks or something. I love, uh, I love this, uh, this smarmy comment from Baxter. If you have any more funny things like that to say, go ahead and say them because you know, it's hilarious in the form of question and without being derogatory. Um, but that was, that, that made me laugh seriously. Okay. Here's some extras in the process. These are extras. What does extras mean? It means they're extra. Do you have to do them? No. Should you do them? Maybe here they are. Schema. Um, a lot of testing shows that schema helps boost some of it. It correlates a lot with rankings. Uh, do you necessarily need to do it? Not necessarily. Um, uh, it, it's kind of an extra you can do if you can't figure out how to do it. Well, then you have to go back up here and take that uh, HTML course I talked to you about because newsflash, that's all schema is, is HTML. It's just extra HTML you put in your HTML page. If you don't understand that, you really shouldn't be in this business. Sorry, that's just the way it is. But yeah, it can help. It can help. This is the main process you need to do that will work every time if you do it right, based on the science. Um, this is is this is extra. You don't need to do GMB. If you're local, you definitely need a GMB. Obviously, uh, Jordan Pierce is the local master. He has a course as well. I suggest you look up his local course if you want to get deep into local. Uh, I definitely, um, uh, uh, he definitely knows more about local than I do for sure. But you know, I've been doing SEO for a long time as well. I'm, I'm no slouch. I understand at least the basics of it, but Jordan Pierce for sure is the, is the man when it comes to local, I would recommend uh, contacting him for his local course. Uh, 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 my group used to get a discount for that. I'm not sure if, if that's still the case. I'd, I'd have to check with Jordan, but, uh, but yeah, um, uh, for, it was first month free if I recall. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'd have to check with Jordan on that, but, uh, it, check it with Jordan and see about the GMC, GMB stuff there. There was, um, we did float the hypothesis that a GMB would help. Well, here's the thing. It's not GMB. It's entity really is what it is. And that's really hard to test single variable because you need to actually make an entity. Uh, and that has to be a real thing as far as Google's concerned. Now, um, if entity helps you, which I think it probably does, although that's just my hypothesis. I have not been able to prove that. So this part is not science. This part is conjecture. I'll get rid of that because <laughs> I can't say this right now. This part's conjecture, but I think entity will help you uh, because I haven't been able to test it a single variable. But I I'm pretty darn sure, again, this is conjecture on my part, but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty safe conjecture that if you want to get your entity into Google, the fastest and easiest and best way is to register on my business or Google my business with them and make sure all the information is filled out and make sure it's accurate. So uh, I think this would probably help. I don't think it would hurt. And so I definitely think you could go do it. Just don't do anything funky there. Don't break the rules there. Don't do anything you shouldn't be doing there. That, that would be my recommendation there. Here's another thing that we've tested as well that we know helps is buying Facebook traffic. Uh, we found that if you don't have enough traffic organically, buying Facebook traffic is a really good idea. My mentorship group has a Facebook guru in it. 
and we can tell you how to uh, use Facebook to get uh, all the way down to one cent a click, which is a pretty amazing stat these days. So one cent a click for happy traffic can definitely uh, help you out if you don't have enough traffic and where, depending on where you are in the sales funnel, uh, I will explain that when you join the mentorship group for students. AdWords traffic can also help if you want to stay on top of, uh, uh, if you're in a, another part of the sales funnel, but you need to stay on top of your conversion rate optimization. And there's new, numerous other ways you can get traffic as well that you might want to look at that we look at. Very sneaky, awesome, excellent ways we look at getting free traffic. You want free traffic? I can get you free traffic. I can get you loads of free traffic. Join the mentorship group. And we have proven methods for doing so that uh, you're going to are so insidious, you're going to giggle with delight. Um, here's another thing that's another hypothesis that I, I can't prove. And I've been trying to ask Ted, the creator of Cora, to add this to, for, to Cora for a long time. Uh, if he doesn't do it, I'm going to write my own tool to do it. Uh, because I think it's going to be important and I want to see the statistical correlations for it. But I think Google has, uh, I think it, I, we know it renders the page. Google has admitted this and they've shown us doing it in search console. So we know Google renders the page and John Mueller has, 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 uh, pretty much admitted that they do ranking based on that rendering. And I think that they do as well. And I think the way it works is that the Google quality raters guidelines, the Google quality raters mark certain pages as high quality, and then they put them in the system and a bunch of users click them and their user metrics look good enough. So then they are starting to rank pages based on the layout, based on the block level layout of how it looks. And I've seen this, and I've seen more and more anecdotal proof for this as I look at different search result pages, different SERPs. So this is not proven. Uh, this is more field testing. This is more, I'm pretty sure about it, but I haven't proven it the way I've proven everything here that I'm talking about. Uh, that I know for a fact you're going to succeed with this. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, uh, and at a pretty scientific level as well, uh, a fairly sci field scientific anyway, that um, that you need to look at the winning pages and to, to get a good guess to what Google might like for that, uh, for that particular uh, niche you're in. And last but not least, comment links. So here's, here's two uh, negative SEO things that could possibly be happening to you. And I'm going to mention them. So in my testing, I've noticed that negative SEO is real. It's true. It happens. It's possible. Um, and there's two ways. There's multiple ways you can do it. Uh, I'm not even going to mention there, the other ones. But there's two ways regarding links that you can do it. And I'm going to mention them right now that we have scientifically tested and proven. This is, this is back to science, guys. This is scientifically tested and proven. One is comment links. And we tested 301-ing comment links. You do a bunch of comment links to a domain, uh, an old age domain, and you 301 that to a page. That, that demoted the page and caused it to A-B test. So that's bad. Don't do that to yourself. And uh, 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 I, I don't recommend you going to do it to anybody else. That would be a nasty thing to do. Uh, and, uh, depending on their link profile, it may or may not work, but in, in controlled environment, we, we made this work. So it should also work in the uncontrolled environment. And the other thing is cloaked links. And when I say cloaked, I mean the same color as the text, the link, you cannot tell it's a link. Just like you can't tell plausible as a link here. That's cloaked. It's the same color as the text it has no underline. It has nothing pointing it out. It, I don't even want to be a close color. So these cloaked links, it was an accident we found, but we found it. And we've, I've seen it in the field a number of times now. And uh, yes, it does always in the field work. So I'm pretty sure to pages that had nothing else really going on in them. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's close to a single variable test. It's somewhere in between a complete guess, field guess, and a single variable test. And so this, I would not do this either. I would not have links, backlinks that are the same color as the text or internal links that are the same color as your text. Whether they have a, uh, an underline or a lot, I don't really care. I wouldn't even get close to that. So I can share these two pieces of science as well with you that uh, uh, you shouldn't be doing those, those kinds of things. Okay, guys, so let's get some questions going on here. What questions you guys got? Carlos Martin says, 300 bucks per month. Are you kidding me? And he says, WTF. Uh, yeah, Carlos. What? Uh, I'm just curious, Carlos. What do you think it should it should cost? 
he thinks 300 bucks a month uh, US is a lot for a group that can literally make or break your business, uh, that can make you succeed and make a lot of money. Uh, at least I think that's a pretty reasonable, I'm, I'm almost full up on students, so they think it's reasonable too. Uh, but let me ask you what you think the price should be. I'm not promising I'll make it that, and I'll probably laugh in your face. But I'm just curious what you think the price should be. Um, uh, uh, Chase Reiner, for example, was, was charging $4,000 for his course. So I, don't, I think 300 bucks per month is pretty reasonable. Um, Yokon, uh, Yoko Shin asks, what about AMP? You know what? And Oves asks about AMP. You know what? I, I don't think AMP is, um, uh, I don't think AMP is a great ranking factor because just because we've tested it and it never seemed to perform very well. Um, I, I would prefer responsive design. Responsive design definitely seems to do a lot better. Um, uh, that's definitely something I think, uh, uh, you should do responsive design instead of AMP. Ove said, who started the scientific test first, Kyle Roof or you? Ah, well, every SEO has, I've, I've been testing for years, uh, and, and Kyle has two, but I will fully admit Kyle is the one who started doing it in a serious way, in a more rigorous, serious way. And so I will fully admit he started he started the, the, the scientific push. I'll fully admit that he started the scientific push and he inspired me to also do, do his scientific tests. Uh, but now the way I do it is totally different the way he does, he does it, uh, in a, a number of, well, not totally different. It's fairly different in a number of ways, uh, depending on, uh, how he's moving forward to do his testing. It could be completely different. NR says by Google definition, selling, renting, swapping links for off page is considered black hat. So in a sense, like a majority of SEO agencies, they participate in Black Hat. Do you also use Black Hat techniques? Um, um, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, it depends. I mean, in that strict definition, yes. In the strictest definition, everything I'm doing is Black Hat because we're not editing the HTML to, to, to make the page better. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we are. We're not trying to make the page bad. But, but we're, we're all, everything we're doing here in the process that I showed you, we're doing for, to, to rank better, of course. So, so yeah, by definition, that strict definition is black hat, but really for the most part, everything I do is white hat and all the stuff we're doing is white hat as well. For the most part, Darlene says I'm down to 22 cents a click. Yes. Thanks to Josh's and Melissa's help. You're welcome, Darlene. I hope you'll be able to get that, uh, that uh, ranking factor down a little bit, uh, that uh, that cost down a little bit further. Christopher Rusme says, what is the top local factors? Um, Christopher, um, <laughs> again, uh, I can't just give out all the top local factors. I can't give the top ranking factors for, for everything. I, I suggest you join a mentorship group to get that kind of information. Uh, this kind of information is not going to be given out for free anymore. All the, the free information basically is like the guys are giving away everything for free and telling you how to do everything for free basically are lying and have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, it's the people who are hiding that information, you know, have some valuable information. So I would really recommend uh, joining a mentorship group for that. Uh, mine is good. We have guys who do local. We have guys who've been local for a very long time. Or Jordan Pierce is also very good. He's there in the chat. Ask him about his group if he's still running a local group. Uh, my group used to get a discount there. I'm not sure if he's still offering that. Uh, so definitely ask Jordan about his group. Uh, he's definitely, if I have a local question, he's definitely be the guy I would go to. Uh, Alexander says, ha 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 ha. Okay, good. I don't know what he's laughing at. Christopher says, is there a benefit or minus for doing a Google site versus a real website for map ranking? Um, of course there's a pros and cons. What happens when Google decides to turn off Google sites? Then you're screwed. So, uh, there's a, there's a consideration there for you. And I don't personally think that uh, a Google site or a real site is going to make a difference there. And I think it's going to look terrible for your brand. Twalk three design says, what would you do if you had cloaked links? I have some from old niche edits. I bought uh, a few years ago. Uh, Twalk, what I would do is I would remove them. I wouldn't have them anymore. I would remove if or delete them if possible. Uh, if you can't delete them, don't do anything. The disavow is a crock of shit. I've tested it numerous, numerous ways. Nothing good in controlled environment. 
Nothing good has ever happened from, from using a disavow file unless you have a manual action. That's totally different. There, there is nothing algorithmically that will get better from using the uh, disavow file. And by the way, using the disavow file when you have a manual action, things don't get better there either. Uh, the rankings never go back to where they were because you've deleted a bunch of links in your backlink profile. Kelvin says, have you tested what's the optimal number of GMB posts per day, week, and if you can reuse content after 30 days? Um, no, no, that's not a particular thing that I've tested. You can ask Jordan to see if his group has tested it, but that's not a particular thing I've, I've tested. Nick says, many blogs have become huge sites with 1 million visitors per month through simply publishing tons of good content daily and making eight figures a month. Should we focus on that first before hardcore SEO? Um, uh, really? Are there blogs that have a million visitors a month through simply publishing tons of good content and are making six, eight figures? Who, who are they? I'd like to know. I don't know. Maybe they exist. I just, uh, you know, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. We'd be doing it. So I don't, I don't see that's the case. And don't come back with like a newspaper or something like really like just blogs that are just blogs you think are making eight figures a month. Uh, great. I'd love, I'd love to see it, but no, I wouldn't focus on that first before hardcore SEO. Um, I don't even know what that means. Are, are you asking me, should I have a blog before I do SEO? Uh, the answer is no. Should I make good content before focusing on SEO? The answer is still no. Good content is part of SEO. You need to do the entire process. You need to do this entire thing here and that good content would be part of it. Uh, otherwise, it's never going to work. Roger says, does adding translated pages give you boost in ranking even if the text is automatically translated? Um, we did test this and Google apparently, uh, 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 a sister group tested this and Google apparently does not care about uh, automatically translated content. As long as your uh, readers uh, don't care about that either, then it's not going to be a problem. Uh, okay, so that's the last question. Thanks, guys, for paying attention. Thanks, guys, for watching. This has been SEO Hangouts with Josh Bashinsky. As I said, I'll give you, uh, if you want to join my mentorship group, go to secretseo.guru. If you're a new student or you're a new startup and you're looking at some kind of a discount, uh, I could see what I could do. Email me at joshbashinsky at gmail.com. I will be closing the group very soon as I, when I change technologies, so don't take too long to contact me. Uh, we have all the knowledge there that you might want to see. Go to bit.ly slash SEO proof if you want the proof. And for those about to rank, we salute you. And as I always say, good luck in the SERPs. See you next time.